Hi there, in this video I'm going to uh, explain how to locate the roots for an equation. Okay, so let me title this locating the roots. Let's underline that. Now, first of all, let me explain what a root is. So, here's what we mean by the term root. Basically, a root is the solution for x for the equation fx equals zero. So, a root is a solution for x for the equation fx is equal to zero. <coughs> okay, now there's a couple of ways in order to a find the number of roots and b uh, find an approximate um, idea of where the root lies. Okay, <coughs> so let me explain the first method. I'm going to call this method A. So let me underline that. <coughs> now, the first method, which I'm calling method A, is to sketch uh, the function y equals f of x and the points of intersection of that function with the x-axis will A, give you an idea in terms of the number of roots and B, gives you an idea in terms of where the root is lying, okay? So, for example, let me take an example. If I have the function y equals x squared <coughs> minus 5x plus 3, okay? If I sketch that function, so we know that this is a quadratic function, but if I were to sketch this function and um, I've sketched it using a free online software called Desmos, so I'll provide a link to that software. Okay, so let's have a screenshot. So, as you can see on the screenshot, okay, uh, we have two points of intersection of that curve with the x axis, so i.e., we have two roots. Okay, now I want to focus on one of the roots the root between x equals 0 0.5 and x equals 1, okay? So I use Desmos in order to find an uh, approximate solution for this root and it gave me an approximate value of x to be 0 0.697, okay? So that is method A, that is how you would work out uh, of an approximate solution for the root and uh, in order to work out how many roots your equation has. So let's go back to the paper and pen. And let me explain method B. So let me call this method B. Now with method B, supposing we go back to the equation y equals x squared minus 5x plus 3, okay? So, let me take the equation x squared minus 5x plus 3 equals 0. So remember, um, the solution for x to this equation is our root, okay? Now, if I rewrite this equation, suppose if I rewrite this equation, so if I kept the x squared on the left-hand side, and if I brought the x term and the constant to the right hand side. So if I bring minus 5x to the right, so it will be plus 5x. And if I bring the plus 3 to the right, giving me minus 3. Okay. And if I sketched both y equals x squared and y equals 5 minus, 5x five minus 3 all on one diagram, let's see what we have. So I think Desmos. Uh, is needed. So, as you can see, using Desmos, okay, y equals x squared, so that curve is shown in red, and I have y equals 5x minus 3, and that curve is shown in green, okay, and as you can see, we're having um, 
the same picture as we had with method A um, in terms of we have our root so the root is the point of intersection of these two curves so the point of intersection of y equals x squared and y equals 5x minus 3 and the x value in particular is 0.6972 okay so that is the same as uh, the value of x for the root that we've seen in method A okay and also where it lies is the same also so this root lies between 0 0.5 and, uh, and 1 okay so where it lies is the same also between 0 0.5 and 1 and we also seen that in method A okay so back to the paper and pen so let me go through examples uh, using method B so as we've seen method A and method B uh, give you the same outcome okay so it gives you the same outcome for finding out the number of roots and in order to find out the approximate solution for the root itself okay but I'm going to use method B in order to find the number of roots okay so I'm going to use method B to find the number of roots to um, certain expressions or for functions okay so let me take an example so let me call this example number one let me underline this so with example number one let's find the number of roots okay for the equation uh, e to the x plus x minus 3 is equal to 0 okay so let's find the number of roots for this equation and let's use method B okay now if we go back let's have a look at method B method B the way that uh, the way that this works is we take the equation fx equals 0 and we rearrange so that we have two functions on either side okay so if I um, explain it in terms of steps so in step number one we have our equation fx equals zero so I've used a red pen okay so here's our equation fx equals zero and in step number two we rewrite okay so we rewrite the above as capital FX equals capital G of X okay so in this equation that I explained you using an example my capital FX so one of the functions is X squared the other function GX being 5x minus 3 okay and then in order to find the number of roots if your two curves y equals f of x and y equals g of x intersect n times that means that the equation fx equals 0 has n roots okay so if y equals f of x and y equals g of x intersect n times so therefore fx equals 0 has n roots okay so this is the method that we're going to apply for example number one so in example number one we have the equation e to the x okay uh, plus x minus 3 equals 0 so let's have a go at step one so I don't have to do anything to my equation it's already of the type fx equals 0 okay but remember in step number two we need to rewrite this equation as as fx equals g of x okay so let me rewrite this as so I'm going to keep the e to the x on the left hand side okay and I'm going to bring the remaining terms to the right 
So if I bring the x and the minus 3 to the right, I'll have 3 minus x. Okay, so here is my capital F of x, here is my capital G of x. Okay, so this is what uh, step number two is about. Okay, now once you've done that, let's go to step number three. So step number three, as I've written in red, if y equals f of x and y equals g of x intersect n times, your equation fx equals zero has n roots, okay? So we need a sketch in order to find out the, the number of intersection points. So let's sketch y equals e to the x and y equals 3 minus x on one diagram. Okay, so that is imperative. We need to do the sketches on one diagram. So, let me continue here. So, if this is my x-axis, y-axis and origin. So, firstly, let's go back quickly. y equals e to the x. So, when you draw e to the x, e to the x is a curve of this form. So, this is y equals e to the x. Okay, and if you draw y equals 3 minus x, so it's a straight line, okay? So uh, if you're unfamiliar with straight lines, so remember, when the line, so when this line y equals 3 minus x crosses the x-axis, y equals 0. So when y equals 0, the x value is 3. So if we go back to the diagram, it will, it will cross the x-axis at 3, 0. And when the line crosses the y-axis, x is 0. So when x is 0, y is 3. So going back to the diagram, 0 and 3. Crossing point on the y-axis. So if I join these two points to form this line, as you can see, I only have one point of intersection, okay? So, remember, let's go back to the method. If y equals f of x and y equals g of x intersect n times, your equation fx equals zero has n roots. So if we go to this diagram here, our two curves intersect once. So the equation that we have to start off with e to the x plus x minus 3 equals 0 has one root, okay? So just to close, since y equals e to the x and y equals, so this is y equals 3 minus x, intersect once, so therefore the equation e to the x plus x minus 3 equals 0 has one root, okay? So that is one example of um, how method B, as I've called it, um, is applied, okay? So here are the steps. Step 1, step 2, step 3, doing these two curve sketches all in one, all in one diagram and the number of points of intersection corresponds to the number of roots, okay? Let's try another one. So let's try another one. So example number two, okay? So with example number two, so let's find the number of roots for the equation x cubed uh, plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay? So let's find the number of roots. So in step number 1, 
So going back, we have our equation fx equals zero. So looking at this example, it's already of this form. Okay, so x cubed plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. Okay, and in step number 2, so remember we need to rearrange it so that we have a function on the left and a function on the right. What I would say is be wise when you do your rearrangement because in the next step you should be able to sketch both functions on one diagram. So be really wise with step two, okay? So let me rearrange this. So I'm gonna leave the x cubed on the left hand side, okay? And I'm gonna bring the remaining terms to the right hand side. So I'm gonna bring the plus one to the right, as well as the two x to the right, giving me minus one minus two x, okay? So my f of x is x cubed, my g of x is minus one minus two x. That takes us to step number three. So remember step number three, if your two functions intersect n times, your equation fx equals zero has n roots. So in order to find the number of points of intersection, let's have a sketch. So let me draw uh, an x and y axis. So here's my x axis, here's my y axis, okay? And if you sketch x cubed, that's a cubic function, you should have a curve of this form. And y equals minus 1 minus 2x is a straight line, so it's of the form y equals mx plus c, so again this is a straight line. So remember, when the curve crosses the x-axis, y equals 0, so when y equals 0, so when you do this in your mind, you're going to get, um, in this case, minus half, okay? So it crosses the x-axis at minus half and zero. And when the line crosses the y-axis, x is zero. So when x is zero, y is minus one. So zero minus one crossing point on the y-axis. So, when you join these two points, these two crossing points, you're going to have the line y equals minus 1 minus 2x. And let me indicate the point of intersection. Okay. So, in this case, I've got one point of intersection, so that corresponds to uh, one root. Okay. So, let me just say since y equals x cubed and y equals minus 1 minus 2x okay uh, intersect once so therefore the equation x cubed plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 has one root so that completes that example, okay? So here are the steps in order to work out the number of roots using uh, method B, okay? So method B and I've highlighted the steps in red, okay? So that completes the examples and that ends the video also. So I hope you found uh, this video helpful do related practice questions and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.